Hi everyone, it's Nancy Westfall from the Colorful Cookie Club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use CookieCAD, a wonderful website, to help you design a cookie cutter. You'll want to navigate to the CookieCAD website. You can go to cookiecad.com. They do sell cookie cutters here. You can see shop by category, so they have lots of cookie cutters on their website that you can order. But you'll want to click right here to design your own. It says design your own cookie cutter right up here at the top. We're going to click on that. And here is where the magic happens. As soon as you do, you'll get a little message that pops up here in case you have any questions. This is uh, through Messenger, and they're very quick to respond if you have any questions. They also offer the service if you want to upload your clip art and you don't have a 3D printer, they can mail you your cutter for $5. But if you have a 3D printer, all you have to do is right here, see where it says click and drag files to upload? You put your JM, JPEG or your PNG in here, clip art that you've drawn on your iPad, and you can have an instant cutter, basically. Um, they also have some shapes down here for you to practice or choose from. You can just drag these, you can click, and it will. you don't even have to drag it anywhere, you just click, and it will bring this cutter right into this, I don't know, I, I'm going to call this a 3D modeler, basically, because this is your cookie cutter right here. You can choose from, uh, well, this is if you're buying them, you can choose from mini, medium, large, extra large, or custom. You can set your own size here. Um, but what we're going to do is the free download. So same cutter right here in the software, but this is the download for you. It will give you an STL file, and that's what you need to upload into your 3D software, the slicing software that actually slices the cutter for you. And if this is all foreign language to you, it was to me too. Slicing just means your, your printer will lay down uh, filament one slice at a time. And if you were to look at it and hold your cutter up from the side, you can see each layer that is um, the filament that's extruded, each layer that goes around and around to build your cookie cutter upward, that's called a slice. So I just used their shape for example here, but I want to use my own clip art and I want to show you how that works. And I'll share my settings with you here that, that I like to um, have my cookie cutters print at. So I'm going to click the back button and I'll go to design your own cutter again and that will take us back so I can bring in my own clip art. Let me pull it up here. I have a clip art that I actually put an offset around and I made my cookie cutter from that and I want to show you what that looks like in just a minute but I'm going to go ahead and just drag this right in here. This is my clip art. It will upload it and it will trace my, it's my clip art outline basically or the contour of it. And I use my mouse pad and I scroll in and out so that I can see close up I can actually put, push down on my mouse pad and I can turn this cutter around to see what it will look like. And that's, that's all there is to it, pretty much. You need to know the settings, though. So let me show you my settings. I'm not going to order this cutter from them because I have four 3D printers so I can print my own. But if you don't have a 3D printer and you have specific clip art you want a cutter for, they will um, print this cutter and mail it to you and you can choose that option right here. So I'm going to click on free download and I can choose the size here of my cutter and this is in millimeters by the way and I want this cutter to be four inches and so four inches in millimeters, I always have to think about this, um, is going to be close to somewhere around a hundred millimeters so I'm going to put in 105 because I want this cutter to be big. I like big cookies. And then my blade depth, that is the, um, the basically the height of the cutting wall of your cookie here. That's the blade depth. They're calling this the blade. So I'm going to just key in 15 here. You could do 16 or 17. You could even do 14 if you wanted to, but 15 is a good number. My blade thickness, I like at 8 tenths or, or 0.8. Uh, whoops. Wow, not eight tenths, that would be 8.8 .8 millimeters actually. So then I'm going to go on down. I want the outline only. The handle height, I am going to make this three 
You can also do four. The handle width, I'm going to make five. The higher these numbers are, the longer it will take your cutter to print on, in, on any of these. The higher the numbers, the longer it'll take to print. I don't have a center bar. This isn't a letter like an A with, you know, the, the bar across the center. It doesn't have anything that needs connecting. And so I'm not going to worry about this. But now I'm going to click Download STL. And it's going to tell me it's generating the model. And it's just going to name it Cutter STL. But I know the name. I want to name this when I save it. I can't have every cutter I'm downloading uh, be called Cutter STL. That won't work. So I always name my cutters something that I'll recognize. And this is going to be You Got This. And I put CC in front of it for Colorful Cookie. And then I just get rid of the cutter word here. Whoops. And we'll put this on here. I'll save it in this folder. And I may already have one in there. Let's see, maybe. No, okay. So now that I've downloaded that, we are going to take this cutter now into the software that I use as a slicer, and that is Cura. And I will show you that. Okay, here we are in the Cura software, and Cura is a free slicer software you can download online. If you just uh, search Cura, it will pop up. Now, I need to bring my STL file that I just saved from CookieCAD into Cura. So I'm going to go to File and Open File, and you got this STL right here it is, the one I just created using CookieCAD. I'll click Open. And it thinks for just a minute. And it places my cookie cutter right here in the center of my printer bed. Of course, it's a virtual printer bed, but it places it right in the center. And of course, I have my Ender 3 here. It's ready to go. I've got the profile in here. And I am going to suggest to you that you look up L2C 3D printing because Dieter is an excellent resource when you have questions or issues or concerns when you're trying to design a 3D cutter. And he shares his profile freely with people and it gets perfect prints every time. So you can see right here is my cutter. I can click on these cubes right up here at the top. I can use my mouse to scroll in and out to look closely at my cutter design just to make sure there's nothing wrong with it, that it looks okay, and I think it's going to be perfect. So now I'm going to click Save to File, and you can see right here, I'll see if I can zoom in. Nope, I can't. Uh, this file is going to end with the extension G Code. This is the file type that your 3D printer will read, or my 3D printer, I have an Ender. Um, it's going to read this G code. And I've used the profile right here. The CE3 is my ender. I also have a Monoprice Mini and a Maker Select Plus from Monoprice. And I have an Alta. And my Monoprice and my ender 3D printers read this G code. And that's how they print out the cutter. It's way beyond me, but it totally works when you do what I'm showing you to do. I'll click Save here. And it says, I've got one already. Do I want to replace? I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to call this two because the other one that I made was a three and a half inch. And this is going to be the second cutter with this name. So we'll save that. And the next step is to just put my flash drive into my 3D printer and press go. So now I want to show you how I design a stencil to fit right inside of my cutter perfectly. You can see this outline right here. This is the cutter. This is the JPEG that I uploaded into the CookieCAD software. Here's the text for my stencil. And here is the stencil that I made to match this cutter. And it fits perfectly because I based the size of my uh, script text here on the size of this cutter. And, you know, it can't get any easier than this. I can make this very simple for you and break it down for you. I teach people how to do this very thing in the Colorful Cookie Club, how to design stencils that are either silkscreen stencils or traditional stencils with the bridges. This stencil happens to be a silkscreen uh, that does not need any bridges. 
uh, because it adheres to silk screen mesh. But if this were a traditional stencil, it would have to have the bridges in there so that the lettering would not fall out of the acetate or mylar or whatever type of traditional stencil material um, I would cut that out of. So if you have any questions, you can always email me at support at the colorful cookie.com. You can look up the club website and I want to show you that so that you'll know uh, where to go if you'd like to join. So here is the Colorful Cookie website. When you become a member of the club, you can log in and you can view tons of videos to help you learn to design stencils to match your cookie cutters. I'm going to go ahead and click join the club so that you can see uh, where you can learn more about it. If you go to the colorfulcookie.com slash club, you'll see information and a video showing you a little bit about the tutorials. We have a Facebook group downloads each month for stencils and cookie cutters. We have a weekly Facebook Live where I answer any design questions. We have a giveaway every month. We really have a wonderful club and I'd love for you to join. You can see right here month to month it's $14.99 or it's $12.50 a month if you join annually. So take a look at that and if you're interested in joining you can either send me an email at support at thecolorfulcookie.com or you can click join the club right here and join us in the stencil designing fun. For designing cookie cutters, remember Cookie CAD is very easy. It gives you that 3D model. You download the STL. You upload that into your slicer program. I happen to use Cura. You save it as a G-code file. You upload that into your printer and you're printing a cookie cutter. It's as simple as that. So here's our cookie cutter. You can see it looks exactly like the STL file that CookieCAD generated. You can see here this part. That was what they referred to as the blade. This part right here that's a little wider is the handle. Remember we set these dimensions. And this is a perfect cookie cutter. Now let me show you the stencil that I made to match it. I normally cut my vinyl stencils out of clear vinyl, but I cut this one out of blue so that you could see it. You can see that it fits perfectly, so I would call this a success. Um, if you'd like to learn more about CookieCAD and test it out, go to CookieCAD.com. If you'd like to learn more about the Colorful Cookie Club and designing your own stencils and printing your own cookie cutters, go to thecolorfulcookie.com slash club and check it out.